Slake's Limbo, 121 Days is a 1974 young adult novel by American author Felice Holman. Set in New York City, it chronicles the journey of Aramis Lake, a young boy who flees from his school bullies in the suburbs and makes a living in the subway tunnels for a total of 121 days. A Bildungsroman, or coming-of-age narrative, the novel depicts Slake as an adaptable and resilient protagonist who overcomes a series of obstacles to make a better world for himself. The novel received several awards in the genre of youth fiction and was adapted into a made-for-TV film in 1989 called Runaway. The novel begins in Slake suburb. Every day, he is harassed by bullies who chase him around his neighborhood and school. Finding solace nowhere, Slake's desire to stay there wears down. One day, while being chased by his tormentors, he escapes into a subway station and hops on a train into the city. He gets out at Central Park and hides up in a tree. A park official discovers him and threatens to call the police. Concluding that the above-ground world will always be hostile to him, Slake returns to the subway. He sneaks past a turnstile and follows the subway to the Grand Central 42nd Street station. In a tunnel nearby, he finds an abandoned room to sleep and Dot Slake fashions his room into a makeshift home, enjoying the new freedom to control his space and feel safe. He makes money by retrieving abandoned daily newspapers from subway seats and reselling them. He picks up regular customers, including an Arab man wearing a turban and a housekeeper. Slake's interactions with the transient subway patrons reveal him to be extremely depressed, but deeper down, amicable and kind. Slake uses his proceeds from selling newspapers to afford food at a nearby diner. The other regulars at the diner realize that he is homeless and pity him. One day, the diner offers to employ him as a cleaner and pays him in food. They allow him to keep whatever items he finds left behind from customers, and he soon accumulates an interesting inventory of decorations. Parallel to Slake's story, the novel contains big nets of a blue-collar motor worker, Willis Joe Winnie, whose life fatefully intersects with Slake's. Willis Joe is tired of his long career as a train conductor, its endless monotony has disillusioned him into thinking of humans as mindless machines or sheep obeying orders. Just as he starts to lose faith in humanity's goodness, he drives a train through a subway tunnel near the Grand Central 42nd Street station, past a series of holes in the tunnel walls that were thought to have led to a crash. Fearing that the repairman will seal him inside the walls, Slake's crawl stop on a large piece of trash and crawls out of his home onto the tracks, where he gets Willis Joe's attention. Willis Joe is shocked into action and, through a heroic effort, stops the train just in time to save Slake. Slake is sent to the hospital, where he is diagnosed with pneumonia. When he wakes up, he feels intense sorrow for the loss of his home in the subway. A social worker appears and informs him that she will match him with a juvenile care center that can locate his family. Slake, who has had no desire to return to a place he does not call home, escapes his hospital room and makes for the roof. He watches a bird fly into the distance and appreciates his newfound freedom. He nearly goes back to the subway tunnels to find a new home, but ultimately decides to build a life for himself above ground and to stop running away from his problems. Slake's Limbo, 121 Days depicts one boy's relatively extreme and painful solution for escaping his adolescent bullies. Slake eventually learns that everyone has some form of compulsion to escape everyday life and to seek more productive outlets for negative emotions. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.